Guys, sorry for the re-upload. I just made a Jalen Green video, and the mic sounded horrible. I'm not trying to do that to you guys, man. It, like Jalen just dropped 41 points. Career high for him, man. Let's have good mic quality, bro. So, of course, you guys know I've been covering the Rockets here for, what, a year and a half, dude? Oh, my God. It's been that long. Wow. It feels like just yesterday. And the Rockets, they've got something good moving forward. They've got a legit superstar to build around in Jalen Green. They've got an all-star caliber player in Kevin Porter Jr. You guys know I made a video saying that the team should move on from him, and it had nothing to do with talent. Like, I, you know, I've been getting a couple of comments and messages saying, bro, like, how could you say that about Kevin? It's nothing to do with him as a talent. Like, we know Kevin Porter Jr. is a good basketball player. I'm not surprised at all that he's been doing this. But hopefully he can just keep it up. It looks like the Rockets are keeping him in check, and both of these sides have been communicating all season long. So, I honestly, I think it can work. Alperin Sengun is an unbelievable basketball player. Remember, he's just 19 years old. Incredible post moves, incredible footwork. One of the best, I'm talking top seven players at finishing around the basket, under the basket, in the painted area, in the league. I mean, he's going to be a good player for the Rockets. They just need to get a little bit more size next to him. Remember, Shengun was about, what, 6'9", 6'10". So they're going to need a 6'11", 7-foot player next to him. Because Shengun, to me, is more of a power forward. I know he's listed as a center. But the thing is, like, Christian Wood is more of a four, and so is Shengun. So that's why these guys haven't really worked out the best. Also, defensively is the thing. But if you bring in, like, Chet Holmgren and he ends up growing into his frame, I mean, Chet and Shengun could be absolutely unstoppable. And then you've got Green and Kevin, and you throw in a small four that can stretch the four and shoot. Maybe you go out in the draft, or maybe you... Maybe you say, hey, screw it. We're going to roll the dice and start Josh Christopher and go three guards. And like that, see, the Rockets definitely like have a good young core. Just the next two to three years, they're not going to win very many games. But at least they're doing it the right way. I'm happy the Rockets aren't trying to sell the, the, the stands out. Bro. You know, they're not going out there and getting Bradley Beal or Dane Lillard. They're, they're rebuilding the right way. They're saying, hey, look, we traded James Harden. We got eight first round picks. We got Kevin Burr Jr. for a protected second round pick. We drafted Jalen Green. We had a 48% chance to do so. Now let's develop them, lose, I don't really care, and we'll have a championship team because to win a championship in the NBA, you need star players, don't get me wrong, but you also need more than just that. Like the Bucks didn't just win the championship because they had Giannis and two All-Stars. They had a collective team around them. They also had Budenhoser who came and grew up in the Spurs. Sp I can't talk. I'm an idiot. He grew up in the Spurs organization. He played under Greg Popovich and it shows in the Bucks ball movement and the Bucks system, which is one of the hardest to stop in the league. Give or take, they've got Giannis and Kumpo in it, but it's just, it's built to work, bro. And like, there's just a bunch of threes going up. So overall, man, every game I've watched for the Rockets this season, which give or take hasn't been many, you guys know that. I'm not going to sit here and lie. They have shown me that the future is bright. I've seen the like the Raptors game. Like the Rockets were up what twenty four in that game, and they did blow the lead because they had a bad defense and they're young. But overall, the Rockets have shown flashes this season. They've shown promise, and they go out there and try to win. Like Jalen Green and Kepler Jr. are going out there and doing whatever they can to try to help the team win. And they've fallen short in just about all of the, the last seven games, but actually probably all of them. But hey, these guys, they can put the ball in the hoop, man. Kevin has shown that he can pass. Like, I don't see if I have the stat on me, but uh, Kev, yeah, Kevin Porter Jr., let me tell you guys his assist numbers over the last six games. Actually, it will go seven. Okay, so 10, 2, 6, 11, 12, and 9. And tonight, I think KBG, did he have like nine? I don't even know. I'm going to have to look. Give me a second here, guys. So Kevin, he finished the game with... Tonight, Kevin had... He had six assists. Okay, cool. 10 of 24 from the field. Remember, he's just 21 years old. He, he turned 21 not too long ago, but I think it was a couple months ago. So, yeah, I mean, the Houston Rockets, if you're a fan of the Rockets, you've got to be excited with this team. Like, there's no Rocket fan that is sitting up here and saying, yo, like, we lost James Harden. This team sucks. No, like, no actual Rockets fan is saying that. It's just the people that were Harden fans, and now it's like Harden's not on the team, and you don't really want to bother watching the Rockets anymore. You were never a Rockets fan. So I'm just saying, bro, you know, I still support the Rockets. I, like, I love Jalen Green. Obviously, I pre I preached. I wanted him at the second pick, and I stood by him. I wanted Mobley originally, but I went over to Green after I, I saw his tape. And even if you guys go look at my older videos, like before the Rockets had the second pick, I broke down Mobley versus Green. I said that I think Green has not more upside, but I think he's a much safer pick. I mean, Evan Mobley at being seven foot and a defensive monster, the best defensive rookie maybe we've ever seen, he comes with the upside because he can dribble and stuff and guard point guards, but 
Evan Mobley had bust potential. Like there was no way Jalen Green was going to be a bust because at bare minimum he's he can start or come off the bench and and go nuclear from the field. And, and Jalen Green has shown everyone that said, "Hey, we need Mobley. We need size." Or, yeah, this kid is overrated. I mean, there was people saying that Jalen Green was overrated. I mean, not Rocket fans, but there was NBA fans saying that Jalen Green is just not really that good. He's just overhyped. Uh, of course, grew up in California and played for the G League Ignite. Yeah, well. You guys know, even me personally, I didn't think Jalen Green would do this. Like, if you were to tell me that Jalen Green would score 30-plus in six of his last seven games and 41 to end the game against a team that might make the playoffs in the Atlanta Hawks, who have a horrendous defense, but still. Like, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say that I saw this coming. Like, I've been telling you guys Jalen's going to drop 30 points consistently at the end. Like, I didn't see this coming. I'd be lying to you guys. I'd be kidding myself. But what I did see was Jalen Green figuring it out in the second half and proving to be the player that we took him to be. I mean, Jalen Green right now... To me, I think he's going to be better than Bradley Beal. I think he's going to be better than Levine. I've been, I said this since he came out of the draft. Like this isn't just a scorer, bro. Like in this, in the sense of, he's not just like Bradley. Like he's going to make guys better because we we know like if I've seen a couple of games from Green High School and he went out there and just got assist after assist. I've seen him on the bench cheering on his teammates. Like it's Jalen Green, man. He's not a selfish player. He's not. He doesn't have tunnel vision, man. I know. I know Jalen about, goes about six four, six five. He's not the longest, lengthiest guy. He's got a forty inch vertical. But there's just something about Jalen where it's like, I think he personally can do what Harden couldn't. I mean, he'll never be James Harden. He's never going to average, I shouldn't say never, but I don't think he's going to average 36.6 or whatever in a season. I don't think he's going to be able to single-handedly lead a Rockets team with, with a bunch of bums. Like, I think I could be on the Rockets and Harden could get us to the playoffs in the starting line. That's so good he was. But, but the thing about Jalen and Harden is, well, Jalen is 19 years or How old is Jalen? He just turned 20. So he's 20 years old. And he's doing this where Harden was 20 and he was good, but he wasn't this. I don't think Harden was this good. No, no way. And also James Harden kind of shrunk when it mattered most to where I think Jalen Green's going to elevate his game when it matters most. So it's your boy Swaggy, man. If you guys want to see more Rocket videos, make sure you hit the like button. If this video gets 100 likes, I'll definitely drop another Rockets video within the next couple of days, bro. It's not, you know, it's not just about the likes. I've got a Rockets channel, Rockets News, 1.1K uh, subs right there. But yeah, the Rockets are in a rebuild and... They're going to keep doing their thing, man. The Rockets, they, they know what the plan is, and that is to just stack up draft picks, develop young guys, and don't worry about the win column, man. Just, just go out there and play hard, and we'll figure it out. Because when John Wall and Eric Gordon's contract expire, which is two years, well, next season, Wall's, he opted in. They could buy him out, so Wall's gone. But then Eric Gordon's contract. When those expire, the Rockets are going to, I can pretty, not going to guarantee, but I can presume that they're going to go out there and say, hey, we, we're really not paying anyone money. Now is the time where we can get aggressive and they can go out there and bring in a guy like a Nikola Jokic. I might, that's a huge stretch. But imagine if they got Jokic. Like Jokic, just, the Rockets give him a huge max contract and they need a center. So he comes in and plays with Jalen Green and Shangun and Josh Christopher and Garuba. Hey, man, you never know. You never know. The Rockets are going to have a ton of money. Houston, no state income tax. Good people, good food, good environment. I loved when I was in Houston, man. It kind of felt like a second home, bro. Every time I'd wake up, I would just be ready to go to work and make videos and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, um, peace out. Like I said, apologize for the re-upload. My mic was tripping. And, yeah, peace.